the bad defensive third quarters, 44 last time, 41 tonight. Um, said he told you guys that you need to figure out something else at halftime that, that sort of works better in terms of getting out there with the right energy. Is is there anything that you sort of feel like you guys need to fix from from an effort standpoint going into? I mean, we had a, we had a third quarter that we had 16 stops in a row, so. I mean, some nights it's going to be different than some nights. So well, today and yesterday was bad. We had a good, we had a good uh, three, uh, third quarter too. Cole, can you take us through the final play call and just what the what the goal was on the possession? The, the thing that you saw, though, of course, they they, they blitz, pick and roll, or kind of switch. You know, he, they were aggressive, and uh, Jamal had a switch on on uh, Mo Wagner and. Uh, he he took a shot. Him as you know, it's a uh, something that we can live with. You talk so often about just kind of reading the game and, and going with the flow of the game. When a guy is hot like like Mike tonight, is there any part of you that is like I got to get him? I got to look to him a little bit more than I normally would, or is it just you're always I mean, going with the flow? I don't know. I'm just trying to play the game. You know, I, I I'm, I'm trying to win the game. I cannot. Uh, to be honest. For me, open man wins, and uh, is it me or is it someone else? You know, if you take a shot, it means I'm going to be fine with that. And call officiating has been a big talking point this season um, through the various games. Uh, four free throws tonight. I was curious if, uh, do you stay mad at non-calls after games are over? I don't want to get you fined. I'm just more asking about your reaction. So like, do you, are you just kind of over it the second the game ends? Yeah, as, as soon as the game ends, uh, it's over. And, like you cannot change it. It's, um, that there is no reason to, to 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 think about it. And you're coming off an emotional one, like you guys had last night, and you're playing like less than 24 hours later. Is it difficult to s sustain guys' focus and effort and energy for a full game? I mean, of course, uh, but uh, those things. Uh, it's part of the season. It's part of the, of the job. It's part of the game. Uh, we were, we were. Uh, of course, we came back uh, last night. Um, Sixteen point deficit. We came back at three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, but that's something that we, you know, we cannot change. So you better just uh, show up and be ready to play. Kind of on that note, you guys have already played nine back-to-backs. Does it feel like you guys have played significantly more games to start yes, the season? Definitely. Yeah. That, yes, definitely. Is there a little bit of relief knowing that it will get a little bit lighter now down the stretch? Hopefully, we're gonna feel it. Uh, uh, we're gonna feel it when it comes to the, the I mean, in, in, a, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Orlando, I know you guys still scored 120 points, but Orlando was playing very physical defense throughout the game. Just what was it about maybe their defensive game plan or some of the stuff that they were doing that maybe gave you guys some issues down the stretch? Um, I mean, they were on the, they, they shot 34 free throws. Uh, they, they shot uh, 47 from three point. They made 70 threes and 50 from the field. You know, I don't know. Is it the one thing? But when, when they when they have that big big, uh, I'm gonna say office tonight. I think it's a little bit of everything. You know, just not uh, not cap not being capable of one on one guarding one on one. I'm not rebounding some some in some. Uh, uh, situations, um, make, uh, make, uh, getting uh, defending uh, without foul, without foul. Uh, so I think it's a, uh, you know, we we try to match their physicality, uh, um, but seems like uh, it seems like we didn't. Uh, to be honest, I was lost. I don't know what to say. <laughs> to answer your question, uh, what's your question? Uh, were they doing anything defensively? Uh, no, they were just uh, they were shaking the floor. They were aggressive. They 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 were they were, they were really good in closeouts uh, by uh, closing up to touch to the shooters or whatever, and, and still uh, keeping uh, keeping capable of guarding people. So. I think, I think that's what how they that's that's how they play. That's why they have a they're, they're really good. You 
and Jamal both talk about how confident and comfortable you are in the two-man game, and we've seen it executed at such a high level in clutch moments so often. What does it feel like when it doesn't go the way you guys planned? I mean, that's that's the game. It's a life thing. It, uh, we can, sometimes we miss, sometimes we make. Uh, um, you know, just just uh, try to try to be uh, try to do the right thing, and then if you make if you mess it, I mean, it's a big miss, make league. I just was going to follow up. Do you guys ever talk about it when it doesn't go right, about what could have gone different now? If, as long as we have a good shot, I think. I mean, there's nothing to talk about, I think. Uh, I know you have a game on Sunday, but do you have any special plans for Pose each? Yeah, yes. I mean, hopefully we're going to have a nice, uh, nice uh, morning, whatever it is, breakfast. So just to celebrate it in the right way. Is there in Serbia is it traditional to have a, me a big meal on Christmas like it is here? It's a Christmas. Uh, it's a, like a day before Christmas night and Christmas. Yeah, the whole the whole. Uh, I'm gonna say the whole day is kind of special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole.